Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Come on, we can do this, people. <laughs> Jesus, Joseph and Mary on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to build an online presence. Well, well ahoy there, cruisers, cruises. and welcome back on board the amazing and the biggest cruise ship in the world, the Wonder of the Seas. She's a blooming beast, isn't she? She is a monster, and we know that because we filmed an entire ship tour on the first day of this cruise ship. Wow, my stepometer went bonkers. Yeah, make sure you check that out. It's our last video. Just to say we were in Labadee yesterday. We had a lovely day, but we wanted to spend the day with our friend Steph from Sean and Steph because it was Sean's um, one year passing date. And we just wanted to give her our full love and attention and to spend as much time with the most beautiful person on earth. Make sure you're following Sean and Steph. We'll pop the link in the YouTube um, section below. But we did film the coaster. Take a look at this now. Oh my God, guys, I'm so nervous. This is terrifying. <laughs> That's how it works. Oh my god, that's yeah. a brook. Here we go guys, Dragon Coaster. $26 per person. You can buy a day pass, but it was sold out. Everything sold out so quick in our cruise, it's crazy. I'm nervous, so I'm singing. To take my mind off the fact that we're going up a hill. It looks very steep and it looks very high. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my gosh guys, I don't know if you can get the scale here, but this is actually pretty scary. Here we go, are you ready? Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Come on, we can do this people. Oh my god, of course I'm even further. Oh my god. We are really, really high. This is terrifying. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's going up even further. What the heck? Oh my god, Martha Stewart doing crafts. It's so high. Oh, this is this is not pleasant. This is not a vacation. We are really, really high. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Joseph and Mary on a Sunday afternoon! <laughs> oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, oh. Be still my beating heart. That was amazing. And I'm very proud of myself. I didn't do the brakes once. Oh my gosh, it was blooming terrifying, but it was fantastic. It was well worth it, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. It was so much fun. You can buy an all day access pass that had sold out, unfortunately. So we just did a one rider, which cost us $23. Here we go, guys. This is steep. Nice, gentle start. Oh my gosh, it's picking up. <laughs> this is so fun. One big steep bit. So now we're gonna head for breakfast. We've got a fun day in Jan, Shan Juan. San Juan? San Juan. San Juan. San Juan. San Juan. So we can't San wait to take you there. San, San Juan. Juan. San Juan. San Juan. I'm sure we'll get told off for the pronunciation. I'm very, very sorry. But we're going to head for some breakfast in the Solarium Bistro, but we've got a real fun day coming up. Right. All coffeeed up, Mr. Hewitt. Just to say, we got the refreshment package on this cruise. This is the first time we've had the refreshment package. We've done the soda package before. We've done the drinks package before with all the booze. Now we have the refreshment package and you get coffee included. We're making good use of it, aren't we? And look at the size of the coffee. It's it was a massive. It was a bargain. It was only $25 a day. So we got it on a sale. But yeah, we've got lots of coffee, juices, fresh juices, milkshakes, Mocktails. smoothies all sorts. So we'll let you know if we think it's worth the money. We did pay for it ourselves with our own money like we do everything on this cruise. Let's enjoy the refreshment package on this one. I'm very excited. Should we head down for some breakfast? Feeling a little bit hungry, David. A little bit peckish. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Got my coffee. Highly recommend the, um, the iced coffee with a shot of hazelnut. It's absolutely blooming delicious. Anyway, these hallways look lovely. It's very bright and blue. It's a huge ship. She's gigantic. 
Honestly, when you stood next to her in port, she looks like a city. She's a floating city. Good times, we're heading right to the front of the ship. Our cabin's at the back, so it's gonna be a bit of a trek, but we'll take you along the way. One thing that I can't get used to yet on this cruise is there is no mask requirements. <gasps> oh my God, it's amazing. It's awesome, but I keep leaving the cabin thinking that I forgot something. I'm like, something is missing. It's the best thing <laughs> ever, cruising is yeah. back. It feels, it, it does feel much nicer. You can breathe finally. It just feels like a normal cruise now. It is awesome. It's a bit breezy. It's a bit breezy. Oh my God, it really is breezy. The ship is really rocking today. Even though it's been lovely in the ports, it's been really rough at sea. We hugged the coast of Cuba all the way down here and we're not due to arrive in San Juan till about 1 p.m. So we've got a full day packed. We're gonna show you parts of the ship, but it's gonna be such a fun day, guys. Anyway, starving. Let's go for some breakfast. My belly needs some feeding. And the Solarium Bistro is beautiful, as you're gonna see. Just before you get to the Solarium, there's a cool new bar. This is a new addition. It's called the View Bar. Nice little outdoor spot. It's really popular as well. Lovely view of the ocean. Ooh, it's a cool addition, inside. isn't it? It's windy. We said that, that the ship was missing some outdoor spaces and they've added quite a few. Good job, Royal. Yeah, so this is the adults only area and this is a covered one this time. This is new as well. Well, you can eat out here as well, David. It's really nice. Oh, very lovely. It's like eating in a conservatory. Yeah. But the nice thing is though, if it's, if it's too hot outside, you can still come in here because it's air conditioned. So that's perfect. So the Solarium Bistro is a smaller selection than you'll find in the main buffet, but it's a little bit more civilized. It is adults only as well. So if there's loads of kids on your sailing, this is the place you can escape them. There's a really good selection. It's not quite as big as the main buffet, but you're still gonna get all of your basics, full American breakfast, continental selections, some sweets, coffee, and all of that jazz as well. Yeah, but just to make note as well, there is only the included coffee. There's not a speciality coffee place. So if you want uh, one of your coffees like your Starbucks, grab that first before you head up here. Yeah, you can get that from the buffet or from places like Cafe Promenade. We came outside to get a table because it's really busy in there. But there's plenty of seats out here, so we're going to sit outside. Well, kind of outside. Inside, outside. It's air conditioned. Yeah, it feels like outside, but it's not a thousand degrees. I've got to say, this is one of my favourite parts about this ship. The new covered solarium, it's just amazing. So lovely, isn't it? I really like it. It's a really nice new addition to the ship. Let's get some breakfast. We've talked about it for so long. I am famished and I really fancy something tasty to start my day. You know how much I love my avocado on toast. And even I have a station where they'll make it for you. How cool is that? This looks so good. I love how you can uh, get all the fixings. My own personal avocado on toast. How cool is that? Let's check in. I got avocado on toast, banana muffin, and a kebab, but a fruit kebab, a healthy kebab. Really crunchy bread, which is delish a nice tasting avocado. That's a good avocado on toast. Perfect. I could eat that every single day. Swig of a coffee. Next up, the banana muffin. Now the muffins are usually hit and miss on Royal. Sometimes they're a little bit dry. Let's see if it's got any surprises in it. Is it nice and moist? I've got a moist muffin. Oh, that's what we like to see. Got muffin in my mouth. I got a moist one today, which is good. Oh, lovely. Nice and tasty. It was banana muffin or bran muffin. Doesn't bran muffin just sound super boring? Fruit is fruit, isn't it? But I just liked how it was on a little kebab. So cute. And it's got a little dipping. If I can get my strawberry in it. It's a nice selection for breakfast. Ben, you need to go and get yours now. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. We think Squarespace is the best platform for creating a beautiful online presence. Whether that be an online store, galleries to show off your work, or a blogging website like us. It has unlimited customization options. With easy to use dynamic layouts and templates, you can view all of your changes live so your website will look professional from the beginning. And it's mobile optimized from the start. For us, it's made our lives so much easier. We can quickly add posts, gain insights with the analytic tools and seamlessly integrate our social media channels. Head to squarespace.com now for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Ben and David to save 10% off your first purchase of a website 
or domain. Well, squeeze my orders and call me 2%. That coffee legitimately is freaking delicious. I've got a bit of a French breakfast today. I got some, I got a nice croissant. I'm gonna make myself a nice sandwich. Had to get some hash browns. You know how much I love my hash browns. And I got two continental plates. It's changed a little bit because I usually like it when you can pick the, like, the specific cheeses you want and the specific meats, but now they're sort of made up in pre-made plates, which is a bit of a shame because I don't like some of the stuff. I just wanted ham and cheese. And we and don't I've, want to be wasteful. Do and we? I don't want to be wasteful, yeah, so I had to get br had to get it with brie and olives and all sorts. I wish I could have just picked. That seems to have changed in our last few cruises with Royal Caribbean. But if you are listening, you probably aren't. Please bring it back so we can just select the exact things that we want. Let's have a try. I'm gonna try the hash browns first because they look super crispy and delicious. So let's have a let's have a try. I can hear the crunch from here, mm. Ben. Crunchy. Deliciousness, really good. Nice hash browns. I do like the hash browns on Royal Caribbean. Anyway, I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to construct my own sandwich. Legitimately a sandwich artist. Should go work in Subway. You stick the cheese into the muffin. Give it a good pat down. And then you take the ham, roll it out, and just stick it in the sandwich. Oh, look at that. It feels very firm. Mm, push it down. Naughty Nigella. Let's have a taste. Compliments to myself. I did a good job there. That's really good. The ham is delicious. It's all like flavored and got pepper and stuff right now. Cheese is really good. I'm gonna stick my hash brown in there for good measure. Let's have a taste with that. I reckon that's gonna be nice. It's gonna bring some warmth. You should call McDonald's and add it to the menu. I think I've just created something magical here. A hash croissant. It's like a blend of American and French food. That is freaking delicious. I should get on the phone to McDonald's. I think they should be selling this immediately. I'm just so glad I don't have to hunt for food like back in the day because I've absolutely no idea where sandwiches live. So I'd just go hungry. Oh, it's dirty. It's sticky. It's nasty. And that's just me. Just kidding. It's the dessert. I got a sticky bun doused in beautiful, sticky, sweet caramel. I'm going to tuck right in. It's warm as well. Jane Fonda climbing a totem pole. That is absolutely freaking delicious. It's so sweet and warm and soft and nutty and it makes the other donut next to it look like a complete failure in life. It's just not gonna live up. I don't even know if I'm gonna try the donut because the only way is down after this thing. Oh, it's freaking delicious. I wish you could smell it. Mmm, that's life changing. Thank you for being you. Right, we need more coffee. If you know us well, you'll know that we love our coffee and need at least 15 before we can function correctly for the day. So we're gonna head to Cafe Promenade, get some specialty coffee, and then head up to Schooner Bar to do some trivia. It's Scattergree, so come join us. We'll see if we can win. Oh, just to say, if you fancy like a quick breakfast or lunch or even dinner, they do have snacks in here, so I can see things like donuts and muffins and croissants. So if you don't want to go to the buffet and get something big, you can always come here and grab a coffee and a tea. They also serve free tea, coffee, juice and water here as well. So it's included in the price, but you can get those speciality ones. Oh, we love trivia so much on cruise ships and there's so much on offer here on Wonder of the Seas. We've just played categories. Basically, you're given a letter, then you have to write something down that's unique from everybody else. We had some funny answers. We won the first round and we, we didn't win the second round, but it was so much fun. We do love the trivia and you get loads of little prizes. Just silly things like key rings and hair bands or whatever that is. I'm not actually sure what that is, but it was so much fun. Mine's a little bit floppy. Oh my God, I've got a David. floppy candle. <laughs> it's, it's a bit limp. <laughs> Got a limp it should look like this. <laughs> so I'm gonna go from table to table. So we are off. So we have to find 26 different items, Hi. A to Z, and bring them back. Hi guys. <laughs> Got to bring them back, not just take a photo. We need to go to the cabin to to get a bag. Yeah, because we can probably get a lot of stuff in our cabin. Right, let's go, guys. 20 minutes scavenger hunt is on. Let's do this. No, it's no. going down. We failed at the first hurdle. Come on. Come on, let's do this. B for bin. We got this. I've B got for the, bin. I've got the bin. <laughs> B for bin. Take the bin, David. S for sanitizer. <laughs> I could I could give a pee sample for pee. And a pen. That's good. Pen. I'm gonna go to the cabin and get a lot of stuff. Well, let's go. Let's go run. David, run! It says no running! Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, brisk walk! Which way? Switch, switch side! <laughs> brisk walk! Oh my gosh. We're going to win this. We've won so many competitions on this um, cruise, guys. It's totally unlike us. She's taking her underwear, guys. It's desperate times. Desperate times. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You panic ordered. I thought it was going to be something else and then it arrived and I was like, oh dear, I've had this before. It's a crema catalina, I think that's what you call it. Phil. And it's your own fault. It's that consistency, it's quite watery. It's, I don't like the consistency of it. It looks eggy and it's not a very good one. It's congealed as well, which even adds even more to my pain. I could order something else if I wanted, but I'm okay because um, we've got a long day and we are gonna be trying lots of stuff in San Juan. And I'm very excited. Top tip for you, if you want a quiet pool day, the perfect time is when we're docked in port, particularly a popular port like San Juan, where people do tend to get off. Come to the pool deck because that is when the pools are the quietest and you'll have the whole ship to yourself. But don't do it when you're docked in Nassau because I don't think many people actually get off there. We've just came up to take a few photos, haven't we, and get some video of us yes, in port. Yes, it's been a long time since we last came here. The last time we were in San Juan was on Independence of the Seas, our transatlantic crossing. You should check out them vlogs if you haven't seen them. We're super excited. We've got a jam-packed day planned. We're going to have our special tour guide that we've booked called Steph off Sean and Steph. She's going to be taking us around the island and we're going to be planning our own room tour. So we've done some research online. We've found some really fun spots to hit, a couple of different bars, and we're going to be trying all the different rooms. So we're doing this ourselves. We've not booked a tour through the cruise line or with a private tour company. We've just done our own research and we're putting a lot of faith in Steph. I hope we don't get lost. Right, let's get off. We're all caffeined up. We had a cheeky shot of espresso just before we came down here. First things first, these bloody things are back. We need to follow the local laws, so we have to wear masks on the port and even on the dock outside. So even though you don't have to wear them on the cruise ship, still bring some with you just in case. Let's go. This is cool. This is so weird. Let's get off. Oh, I feel like I'm in the shopping mall. Woo! Oh, another thing you need to remember is you must have your COVID vaccinations here in San Juan and you must have a government issued ID, passport, driving license to get back in the port. They are really strict here, so do not forget it. Oh my days, how big is she? She's gigantic. We thought Odyssey was big. Yeah. This is on a new level. She's monster of the seas. Monster. Look at that. Look how big the text is. Oh, so we're here in San Juan. It's so good to be here. Masks are required at all times when not uh, drinking or eating. It's the world nowadays, isn't it? But look how big the ship is. She's freaking huge. So we found bar number one, but it's closed. Hashtag failed. No worries, let's go to bar number two and fingers crossed the next one is open because we want to try all the rooms of Puerto Rico. Please, we need a room. Hello, anybody home? Yay, success with our second stop. It's run time at Mikasa. Well, I'm time. Let's go, peeps. So we finally found a bar. It's the one right close to the ship that we just walked past. But hey, it looks really lovely. To get in here, it was a bit of a palaver. You've got to show about nine forms of ID. So you have to show a form of ID as well as a vaccination card. And your so, family tree. And your family tree, because it took a while to get in here. But we're in here now, and we've just ordered a rum flight. Hashtag, we're probably going to get hammered, but it's going to be fun. And we finally got those bloody face bras off so they can come off when you sat down having drinks. So our rum flight has arrived and we've got a selection of four Puerto Rican rums to choose from. Also gives you a little description as well about the rums, which is lovely. Oh, that'll singe the hairs off the inside of your nose. You can definitely taste the oakiness in it. That is really lovely. If you like whiskey, I think you'd like this one. That's lush. Notes of hangover. Notes of desperation. Oh, Bette Midler on a broom. That is, oh, that's spicy. That is, oh, that is smooth. I was expecting that to be really horrible, but that is, it, the Trigo Reserva Angelia. Sorry, I can't pronounce things, guys. Angelia. Angelia. Let's have it, oh, I've got to have another taste just to confirm. Oh, sh fly just flew right past my face there. Oh, that's warming my cockles right there. Oh, that's hit the spot. Hitting the spot beautifully. Cheers. Let's have a taste of this one. Oh, that smells nice. That smells like sweet. Oh, oh, oh Angelica Houston. That is freaking delicious. Oh, first one's Bette Midler. This one's Angelica Houston. She tastes gorgeous. Really nice. Oh, super smooth. Really intense flavors as well. Can't get any better, can it? We're so lucky to be here. We really are. Cheers. Oh, that is delicious. 
Oh, that is full of flavor and a real heat to it as well. I like that one. Oh, next up we've got Bacardi Reserva. Let's have a try. Let's go for it. That's, oh Jesus. Oh God, I feel like I've smoked 40 cigarettes. It's got a really unusual taste to it, but it's really nice. It's got like a, instead of like the bitter aftertaste, you've got like a really smooth taste afterwards. I like it. It's been so long since we've sat down and did this in the, in the Caribbean and it's just, it's wonderful. It tastes like licking paper. Uh, I'm not a fan of that one. So when David's not drinking rum, he's licking paper. Anyone else got a sweat on? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's the rum or the heat. It's getting hot in it here. It is getting hot in here. Last but not least at all, we have Burrito Three Estrellas. Well, a hootin' tootin' mootin'. That burns on the way down. Oh, that's really smooth, isn't it? It's delicious. That is a smooth operator. That's so easy to drink. Maybe the rums are getting easy to drink because we've drank so much rum. But no, that is really nice. I'm, I like rum. I thought this was going to be horrible, but it's actually delicious. This is, this is vlog life, guys. This is what it really is like. Trying to compose ourselves and say English words or say any words when, when we've had a few drinks. I know we've said it a lot, but we do love doing things DIY in port. It's so much cheaper than doing it with the cruise ship, especially in places in, like San Juan where it's very safe to do. For example, we saw some walking tours which were almost $100 per person. Why should you pay to walk? We're walking around all of this place by ourselves and we're playing nothing. We're just paying the prices that we've got to pay in the bars and things. So it is so lovely. We do recommend, if you're confident enough, to come out and do things by yourself. You've always got the option of tours. If you don't feel as confident, they're absolutely fine to do as well. But do remember that you're going to play a premium. And do look up local tour companies as well. If you do do a local tour company, make sure they are reputable. So look at the reviews online. Just make sure you know where you're meeting. Just make sure that it's safe. And yeah, you're all good. Off to the next place, David. Yes, we're gonna to go to the home of the Pina Colada here in Puerto Rico. And uh, we've been here before on our Independence of the Seas vlogs. So we can't wait to visit again. Give it a good mix. I can see all of the rum at the top of this one. Well, we went to the home of the first Pina Colada. My gosh, this is one of my favorite drinks. It has a lot of rum in it because it was all floating at the very top. So I'm gonna give it a good mix so I don't get a good shot of um, rum in me first go. Let's have a taste. Love pina coladas. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Sweet, tangy, very strong. I think I might be getting a little bit tipsy soon. Round number two, pina coladas from the first ever pina colada place. How crazy is that? Mmm, they're delicious. Oh, very sweet though, but very tasty. I'm gonna have the cherry. Oh, I've got two cherries and a little pineapple as well. That's very good. It's really nice up here. We've got a nice light breeze and we've got the sunset as well, which is absolutely awesome. View of that monstrosity of a ship. See, it's gigantic. Are the good stuff? Been on the rum? <laughs> She's bonkers. So we're continuing on the rum trail, our own guided rum trail. And we've come to, it's an unnamed bar. It has no sign, it has no name. But we saw on the outside, it said rum's available from $2 and we couldn't resist. What a bargain. What a bargain. But I actually got a more expensive rum. I said, can I have a nice local rum? And she got us a spiced rum that is um, distilled and, is it brewed or distilled? I have no idea. Created. Created. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth is on fire. Oh, that does not smell good. Oh, that's nasty. It burns. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <coughs> it's not COVID, don't worry. It's a hangover, that's oh my what God, it my is. My eyes are watering, that is horrendous. That is the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth in a long time. And that's saying something. It burns. <laughs> so truly. Right, so another place down. We're going to head to the next place now. Honestly, that room was absolutely disgusting. Love being here during an evening. You don't get to do it that often, so it is really lovely. It feels like the place is coming to life now. So let's head off to the next stop on our room tour. I'm excited. 
Next stop, we've came to La Factoria. La Factoria, and we've gone for cocktails this time. We've been burnt with the rum shots. But I'm continuing the rum trend with a spiced rum, old fashioned. Cheers, guys. Ooh, that is delicious. It's smooth and sweet with a nice kick of orange in it as well. That's fabulous. Oh my gosh, look at my drink. It's a rum punch, but it's clear. Really, really nice craft cocktails here. Really well made. They took ages to make, so you can see they're putting a lot of love into them. So should we have a taste? It's like infused with flavor, but it's completely clear. It's really strange. It's absolutely freaking delicious. Cheers, guys. On our walk back to the ship, we hit up a few more bars. That's lots of rum. We've had such a fabulous day and evening here in uh, Puerto Rico. It's been really wonderful to see the, um, the port on an evening as well. It's got a really different vibe and um, we've really enjoyed it. Just been to CVS to stock up on some essentials and we're going to head back to the ship now. I'm feeling like a playmaker, is that you, Ben? Yeah, but only snacks because we've got a party yes. later on. We just popped back to the room. We've got a lovely little gift tonight. It's going to be the cruise of gifts because it's obviously the inaugural. So they're giving us gifts every evening. And tonight we've got a nice little chocolate selection, which I've already tucked into. I'm very sorry, guys. But yes, we're going to go and get some snacks and enjoy the evening. I'm not going to get changed. It's who I am. It's, it's what I'm wearing. It's who I am. It's who I it's am. It's who we are. It's what I'm wearing. It's Royal Caribbean. You can pretty much get away with anything. And um, we're not going to go to any restaurants or main dining room or anything. We're just going to enjoy the ship, get some snacks, get some drinks. So we came to Playmakers. We're going to get a pitcher of Blue Moon beer and have some nachos before the show. As David said earlier on, the show is only on once on this cruise ship, which is crazy. It's called Voices. And it's only going to be shown tonight, which is such a shame because there's over 4,000 people on board, so not everybody's going to get to see it, but we can't wait to see it anyway. We're all booked on the app. We booked as soon as we got on the ship, but it sold out so quickly. Anyway, let's get some drinks and snacks. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. So we're here in the Royal Theatre for the show, The Voices, or Voices. So we've got good seats. We booked here to come. Playmakers was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a little bit of a rush though because it was the same day as San Juan, which is the only port that we have a late yeah, departure. we have a sea day tomorrow, so we don't know why they didn't put it on tomorrow. It would make much more sense. So we've had to rush around to get here, but it's fine. We're really looking forward to it. It's very we? busy though as well, so you definitely have to book just so you guarantee the seat. And make sure you arrive 15 minutes early because they open it up to general reservations 15 minutes before the show. Yes. And Steph just spilled her things all over me. <laughs> we're, we're a little bit tipsy, aren't we? A bit tipsy tapsy. I just carried that water all the way from Playmakers and she threw it on the floor. It's so funny, I love it. Anyway, showtime, let's see what it's like. <laughs> oh, so we're back in the room. We've had a really wonderful day in San Juan. Those bars were amazing. The show, Voices, was it Voices? It was, it was just crazy. It was, it was a mixture of screens in the background with people doing all of the instruments. They've got rid of the orchestra, which wasn't good to see. So there's no Broadway show on board, but it was just awful. It was very woke and very, it was trying to throw issues into our face without resolving them. It's, it's hard to explain guys. It, I just really wasn't a fan. The, the singers were absolutely fantastic. My issue with the show was, is that you had six amazing singers, but it was really hard to see who was singing actually live and what was part of the backing. The show was called Voices and the whole premise was that the whole show was about the voices of the people but actually a lot of it was pre-recorded. Most like, of it was pre-recorded, yeah. yeah. And uh, so nothing against the singers or the dancers, they were Amazingly incredible. Amazingly talented, yeah. But also the show showed a lot of stock footage in the background which was distracting. Things like hungry kids, things like starving children and war sites and things and quotes from Mother Trees. It just felt a bit torn deaf. We're and, on, a, we're on yeah. a cruise ship, we're all eating as much food as we can in the buffet it's not the right time or place to sort of throw those issues in our face without resolving them or doing anything about it it was a bit disappointing really i'm really disappointed in general with the entertainment on board nothing seems to be ready yet i found it inappropriate a lot of the stock footage like ben said was um touching on a lot of issues that are popular right now with yeah. um the world and 
at the end of the day, are they actually doing anything to help them issues? I don't think so. No. It just did not feel right to be preaching to us, but at the same time, we're on a cruise, yeah. so. We don't like to moan, guys, but you know us. We're gonna tell you like it is. Please do hit that subscribe button and the like button. You don't know how much it helps us out, it really does. Big thank you as well to all of our patrons. Thank you for your support. It's because of you that we can make honest and unbiased videos just like this one. In return though, you also get extra benefits such as ad-free videos. If you'd like to support us and become a patron, you can click the link in the description section below. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising. Oh my gosh, my hangover's kicking in, David. I've tired. sobered up. I'm very tired. You did a lot of walking. This is very heavy. Oh my gosh. It's been a, such a fun day. We've really enjoyed it, apart from that show. Fantastic. We'll see you next week. Well,